something I enjoy. All right, so last night I was uh, I was playing with some buddies, and I and I ended up getting the legendary uh, Caldwell, which is what I tried to get originally, but I unfortunately I got the Caldwell hand <laughs> cannon legendary, so I got a Caldwell I want. Um, let me use the Dolch or the baby Dolch, I should say. Uh, what else are we gonna go? We're going to go. You know what, let's do cold Coldwell hand cannon. Fuck it. I got the skin. Okay, I need a knife. I need... What else do I need? Do I not have fuses? I thought I had fuses, for sure. That's disappointing. Give me a dynamite bundle. And... How am I doing? I'm doing well, man. Uh... It's more so, I'm just trying to find out what I want to stream, like, on a consistent basis. This just lucked up and came out at a really good time, because this was something that I really, really, really wanted to play. Uh, so that's really the only thing that I, I have going on right now, King, is just, I'm trying to find something that I really enjoy playing. Uh that I can play on stream consistently just because I don't want to play Dead by Daylight. <laughs> like, I really don't, dude. That took so much for me to play that, and I couldn't even play anything but two games. So, um, think I'm, I, I like this. I really, really, really like this. Uh, I've been a fan of this game ever since it's been on PC. I, just, I didn't even know it was coming to PS4 until, like, a week before it dropped. So, Gaming wise, I have something to play and I'm having fun. Uh, personally, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Um, California is interesting. Uh, <laughs> only thing I'm having, only thing I'm having an issue with in California right now is just that I'm, I'm trying not to fall into habits that I felt that I was constantly doing back home. And when I say habits, I don't mean anything super serious. I just mean, you know, just kind of sitting at home, playing games all day, you know, just kind of like little shit like that, especially being in California when there's so much to do and there are so many places to go and see and experience. So that's the only thing that I'm trying, I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to get out of that habit, you know, I'm trying to get out of that funk. But uh, other than that, my G, I am good. I am good. I like. I probably won't even be streaming that long today. Uh, I'll probably try to get a couple hunt games up in me, and then I'm actually gonna try to finally go to the beach after being here seven freaking months. I'm gonna go to the beach. I mean, shit. I live right on Venice Beach. Uh, well, I don't live on Venice, but I'm super close. Like. I, I've walked to Venice, you know, scooters and what have you. Smoking a lot of weed? Actually, no. If I'm not with friends and they have some, they just kind of, we all just trying to hang out and shit, I will, but <laughs> let me see. If I can keep it a buck. If I'm not around friends, I'm probably not smoking. I did it uh, like that first month I was here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did it the first month I was here because there was a weed store literally up the street from my place. So I went there and uh, I got to experience that, which is pretty fucking funny. Uh, because the places here, it's like, uh, you know, if, if, since you're new here, you know, uh, you buy one blunt, you get an edible for free. So, <laughs> so I got to do that. 
but at the same time, lady, she was uh. So uh, you just got a blunt. Would you like another um house blend? And like, what the fuck house blend? Like, like we have fucking Starbucks or something. Weed has house blends in this place, but uh. He's like, well, you can have an edible, and I said, sure. Uh, I would get an edible, and then she gave me one of these super strong ones that they have. But the only thing that kind of bugged me was that the edible she gave me was watermelon flavor. I kind of looked at her ass some type of way when she did that. Whoa, they're super close. That is super close. Sound like it was over there. The one thing. I like the one thing I need to do in hunt right now, I need to get my aim up. Cause my sensitivity is super low, so it's kind of. <laughs> oh my god! Really? That should have been a head jump, but we're not going to talk about it. Ah! He fucking saw me. Ugh. I didn't. Oh my goodness. I should have ran as soon as I heard that water bubble up. I shouldn't have tried to get a shot on him. Especially with that gun. I'm not good with that gun yet. Ugh. I hope the stream didn't die out for anybody because I think the stream just crashed for me too. Mm. There it is. Hmm. That was weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Shut up. Okay. So, Marshall. You know what? No, I need to. I want to fight. Give me a quick play game. It's nice to know that I'm all good. Thank you, man. I, I really appreciate that. I'm good. As, as soon as I can get out of this funk of me trying to sit at home all day and do something, um, I'll be good. I'll be good. I need to do something that's free because a lot of shit in California costs way too much. <laughs> Like, goodness, like, shit back home, like, the price of it compared to here is redonkulous. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna just gonna try and, like, hang out on the beach. I don't, but, okay, so here's my thing with the beach. I see a lot of people do it. I see, you know, I see a lot of women out there. They look amazing. I see a lot of kids having fun and shit like that. Here's the part that bugs me. Number one, there are seagulls all over the beach, so I know someone pooped somewhere, right? Even though you're not supposed to, I see dogs on the beach, and you know someone pooped somewhere. And when I see a lot of, uh, I've seen a lot of, to be quite honest, I've seen a lot of, like, homeless on the beach. And I know someone pooped somewhere so it's just like that's why i don't want to step out on that sand dude like i really don't want to step out on that sand man truly i can't even play a quick play game to warm up quick play takes too long to boot all right give me see you go jesus fucking christ i want to strangle the right i hate it Give me a Mosin, and I do want to get good with this board, huh? I really do. I re but I also want my crossbows back. I really want my crossbows back. I got to get my carabiner, too. Let's go Caldwell again. That first game was a mulligan. I need to warm up. I'm probably going to have a lot of warm-up games. Plus, I'm trying to get a trophy. Uh, to k 
kill all these regular ass zombies with brass knuckles. But yeah, dude, it's just like that's one of the main reasons. Like I'm really weird about going on the beach and then stepping in something. Like that's the one thing that gets me. Like I'm terrified to fucking do that. Did I move from New York? Yeah, I moved from New York and went to LA. I'm in Los Angeles right now. I've been here uh eight months, nine months? Almost a year, actually. Um uh pretty damn good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um The one thing that I will say about Los Angeles is just <laughs> Okay, me being from I'm from Tennessee, so some people say it's the South, some people say it's the fucking Midwest, you know, wh whoever. But a lot of people here, when you hear a phrase like Southern hospitality to where, you know, re I'm just polite, you know, I speak to people. Somebody walks by me, you know, I, hey, how you doing? Or excuse me, sh yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, shit like that. People look at you crazy as shit when you do it. People look at you like you are a nut job for being polite. Like people just can't believe it. I opened the door for a woman in fucking Starbucks a couple of days ago. Like the bitch was bamboozled. Like <laughs> she couldn't believe it. Then kind of stared me down for it. But I'm like, what the fuck? But you used to live in Tucson like 12 years ago. You moved to London after that. And then to the city I live now. I want to go to London. There are a lot of places I want to go. And this Corona shit is it's making it a bit easier to go but also harder uh because i was talking about this yesterday's stream that you know there was a trip i plan on booking to hawaii right now because it's only like 220 bucks um i want to go to london i want to go to japan you know i think this this is this will probably be the only time i'll be able to get that shit done just because people are in such a fucking panic and all these airlines don't know what the hell's going on. So their flights are super duper cheap. So I think this might be the best time to jump on that. Like you. you, you, you oh, you were like. Oh, okay. So you saw I was going to the beach room like. Oh, motherfucker, there's no beach in New York. What? What? To the beach while coronavirus. You are absolutely right. I didn't even think about that. Well, here's the thing. If you look at any stories. The one group of people, there are, well, you know what, let me say it like this. Let me say it like this. If you look at any other stories about anyone with the coronavirus, what you will see is that it's not a lot of people of color, I think is the best way to say it. It's more so old geriatric white people. And, the, and and even then, even if they're like white people, they're super old. You know, anyone that's young that is affected by it, you know, their immune system is so fucking good. They sh they go ahead and sh you know they shit it out. Sixty plus years old, yes, yes. Like any younger person with it, they just poop it out and then go right back to taking Jaeger shots. Like dude, like we're fine. Younger people, people of color, we're good. Somebody does not like old white people, though. I don't know what they did to deserve this corona shit, but y'all did something. So that's why, that's one reason I don't mind going to the beach. Plus, I'm right by the fucking water, and I've never been in it. Like, I have not, my feet have not touched water period since I have been here and I'm and I'm I, I work on the beach and I'm not far from the beach and I've never dipped a toe in that fucking water oh, all sports have been postponed and it's pissing me off I think the only sport uh that hasn't been in the in the actual like American football realm is the XFL I think the XFL is still going um, I was on YouTube last night, and funny enough, I fucking saw that they were still doing pro wrestling, but they were doing pro wrestling in, like, the gym 
or I think they call it like the performance center or something like you like you can YouTube it you can see it but like oh my god hellhounds but they were doing a whole WWE show at this performance center that housed maybe like a thousand or so people and the part that had me tripping was there was nobody in the audience and there was nobody in the audience but they're still talking on their mics they're still talking on microphones to the crowd like the crowd is still there they're still doing commentary because like, I think there was one particular moment where, like, one of the guys on commentary was talking about, hey, there's, I forgot the person's name, but hey, look, they're coming through the crowd. And I'm just like, motherfucker, what crowd? No one's here. What the fuck crowd are you talking about? And then what I thought was fucking hilarious was with there being no one there, anytime... Because I, I used to, like, I was a fan of pro wrestling when I was younger. And anytime they went to a commercial, there'd either be some shit going on for the crowd, but the wrestling was still going on. Doing commercial breaks for this shit here, like, they real deal just stopped wrestling, went to a corner, and just kicked it. Like, <laughs> and the only reason people know that is because it came out. It came out in the uh, the international feed of the pro wrestling shit. They saw that these motherfuckers just went to a corner, started conversating, and so when somebody was like, "Hey, the camera's about to come back on," that's when they went back to the fucking. Let me close the door on his ass real quick. That's when they went back to wrestling and shit. I thought that was kind of hilarious. All right, so Spider Boss is here with me. I don't know if I'll be able to fight him safely, but uh, yeah, I won't be able to fight him safely by myself because somebody is right over here. Uh oh, what's the worst thing? Uh-oh. What's happening in Africa? There are way worse diseases. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. I kind of sort of don't want to fight this boss by myself. Like, I know I can kill it, but there's gunfire way too close. So I'd rather go look for these other clues and try to level this person up and then just try to piggyback off of somebody else killing it. But yeah, dude, there are way worse diseases and they are like one mutation away from fucking everything. You're absolutely right. But, here, okay, so here's the thing. If it has nothing directly to do with the Americans, uh, uh, government stuff like that, they don't really give a shit as much. I would hope that you read. <laughs> I would really hope that you read, brother. But yeah, dude, if it has no direct contact with us, we don't really give a shit. There was a news story here and there about people in Japan. You know, and then once a lot of these cases started popping up in the States, that's what everybody took notice. And in true American fashion, people are going fucking overboard. Like, I went to the grocery store here. The grocery store is right across the street. I've never seen that grocery store that empty on the aisles and that packed in fucking lines since I've been here. It was so busy and hectic. And I'm just sitting there laughing, dude. I just cannot believe it. Oh, my God. Because I think a lot of people, more so, they see that the name has virus in it and they're in panic mode. You read that in Africa? What'd you read in Africa? What, well, what else did you read? While I go try and fight these teams and not die.
Because that gunfire means they're either fighting a team or they're fighting the boss. And there's way too much fog here, so I can't see. They're fighting each other because I just heard someone's death scream. Yep, they're fighting each other. Yep, there they go. Ooh, somebody got blown off. That should have been a headshot on that dude, though. I'm actually quite pissed. Alright. That really should have been a headshot. I hear him running. Tuberculosis and AIDS, alley oop, and everyone? Jesus. Goodness. And there's the clue, and I have a stick of dynamite. <laughs> that, I don't mean to laugh, but Jesus. I did not know that. I think I just saw them run. can't see in this fucking fog. I bet they ran. Yeah, I think these guys ran. Oh my lord. That's the one thing I keep running into in this game. No one will... They, people, a lot of people won't really just stay and fight. Not to... Tuberculosis has mutated, so it doesn't even need AIDS to kill someone healthy. I did not know that. Do me a favor. Um, link me. Wait, I hear footsteps. Somebody's here. Link me. Put that in the chat if you can, or just like whisper it to me. I actually want to read up on that. Because I did not know that. That is nuts. I hear someone here. I heard footsteps. Like, I hear the footsteps, dude. Somebody got blasted. All right. Somebody's in there. I can't tell if that was at me or at them. Okay, that's not at me. Sweet.
You missed. You missed again. You better focus on that other team you fight, motherfucker. Lit up. Where'd his teammate go? How many fucking shots does it take with this Bornheim? Dude, I have dynamite I can use. I can get over there and throw this bitch. Uh, no, I see him now. <laughs> Fuck, why did I jump over it? I didn't. Uh, I should have just kept shooting him. That's the way. Yeah, yeah. If you can, like, whisper that to me. Whisper that to me. That's two characters I've lost for no good reason. I shouldn't. Have, I gotta stop vaulting shit, dog. I should have just kept shooting at him. I don't like that fucking gun, dude. I I'm hitting motherfuckers like two, three times, and they're still not dropping. I can't use you because you're level 50. I'm trying to get a trophy. So, we'll use a free person. And I don't want the guns you have at all. <laughs> so, I get my shotgun and I will get. Here, we're just going to have to do that. Yep. Okay. That is crazy though. I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, but it's crazy with this game. This game has permadeath, brother. You have an article? Yeah, link that. Link that by all means. I like read I like reading that. <clears throat> Just because you know, you th you think where you live like, you think you have it rough, and then you see these other places that are just going through it, man. The death toll in sub saharan Africa. Okay. Yeah, link that. Saharan. Okay. That's what I mean, though, because you have a lot of these people here that are freaking the fuck out, but then you're telling me shit like that is going on in Africa, and it's just like... I've never heard anything about some shit like that. 84% death toll. That is nuts. What else is nuts is how I played that fight. I could have popped that dude. I just needed better guns. Oh, God. I can never prestige in this game again. I think I'm done with that, too. I'm good with two prestige. It is, it is a fun game, and I'm going to continue to play it, but just having to restart and not being able to get a new character, get the guns and load out I want um, off rip, that's just, that's just gross. That's just gross.
Somebody is coughing, coughing. All right. Okay, this cold well, this pistol is somewhat good at range. I shouldn't have, I should have went around. I should have went around because he was just going to keep staring out that fucking window for me. Because I think I could have killed him. So we have Slaughterhouse. I have to pay, you have to pay $30 to link something? Jeez, see? Good lord. Well, just tell me the site, and I'll go and read that shit for free. Because I've seen a lot of sites do that. I think, like, the LA Times, when I go on their website, they have a fucking reading limit for the website itself. So you actually have to, like, make an account and donate, quote-unquote. And... So I've seen that before. I, I didn't know fucking places were doing that now. Yeah, I knew I missed that. I was waiting for her to walk in. I was, didn't think she was going to walk that quick. I keep shooting behind them. I hesitate. There it is. I got to get my aiming back right, dude. My sensitivity is so low on this game to just line up shots. Because I, it's, oh, I cannot get my sensitivity right on this game. It does not need to be high. And we just, ugh. Okay, give me okay cool yeah I'm absolutely gonna try and read this and this bitch won't turn Appreciate that. Whatever you link, I'll just try to find the rest of it myself. I'm just gonna read those ones that you just posted and I'm just gonna look into the other shit. gunfire yeah, but it tells the stats there's some kind of weird delay oh my god hellhounds oh there's two over here okay that's the ranch So I'm supposed to be looking for clues to go fight a monster. The reason I'm not doing that is because I need to fight teams so that I can get better. I can fight the monster. I can get clues and fight the monster any fucking time, but I'm specifically going for a team so I can just get better at everything. That was published in 1997 on tuberculosis and HIV in Africa. Okay. Dude, that sounded like it was right behind this. Because they don't want to know. That's the best way to say that. They don't want to know. Because it has nothing to do with us. That's more so... Uh, sucks to be you, kid, kind of deal. Until it happens. and, and to, Well, not even happens, but until it affects you. I did not mean to attract those birds. That probably just got me killed. because I just heard fucking explosions. I so 
Somebody's fighting that meathead. Some of this shit that Donald Trump has done has just been really inept to me. It kind of shows this man <laughs> does not know what he's doing. Uh, so no, I'm not. I'm not with the Donald. What? And I just heard somebody else die. I'm fairly certain I just heard someone else die. And this dude tried to run at me with a fucking knife. Cobo conversion and a label. That's the one thing I've seen with this game, man. I keep saying it. People suck at aiming. And since they suck at aiming, you have a story? By all means, brother. That's what the stream is for. The stream is the bar. Buy a, buy a drink, pull up a chair, and talk. I kind of want to know where that other dude died, because I heard him die when I shot that guy. your boy diet all right I'm already tired of looking for you let's just do this and be done with it isn't there a clue here somewhere yes there is Oh, Lord, you had a crush on a girl. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can only imagine where this leads. <laughs> so that's how that guy died. He tried to go for that clue and got broke off. You had a crush on a girl. You only knew her for like four months. You tried to get her contact info and managed to get her Insta. Uh-oh. You talk for a bit. Keep going. No! Uh. So I'm going back where I came. And I noticed she didn't see. Oh, she didn't seem like she was interested, but you kept at it. As, as you're supposed to. You know, sometimes they won't like you off rip. You have to give them reason. You have to give women reasons. Oh, for like two or three months. Good lord. 
That boy that said, I like you. <laughs> that boy said, I like you. Just give me a chance. I feel you, big dog. <laughs> you gave up? Ah. I mean, sometimes that shit works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it kind of needs a minute for their, for people that you may be interested in to kind of see how it is. And one day I walked out of school with my head down. Sometimes that's all it really takes. They have to see what else is out there and realize, okay, I had a good opportunity here. I may have fucked up. I saw kissing another girl. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. Damn, that's a rough. <laughs> and she didn't give you any hints or signs that like you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> That's cold. That is cold, brother. No wonder nothing. Yeah, no wonder. She only saw you as a friend. I mean, still, that's still good. Because, you know, even with that, she'll shoot it to you straight. She probably could have. She probably could have said something, <laughs> or gave you some kind of nudge, just to been like, "No, we are not strictly dickly over here, King." Like, but I mean, even still, you still got a friend of it. There's a team here. I hear dog going off. Shit, I can safely say, like, good friends are extremely fucking hard to come by. Now this can just be something you all laugh at. That missed. Thank you. Give me my fucking headshot. Now where's your teammate? Extremely awkward the next day. Oh, it'll be like that. Then you all, you all just gotta talk about it. What does she have? It was awkward because you knew she was a lesbian. I, I wouldn't say it should be awkward. It shouldn't be awkward at all. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if that's something that she doesn't feel comfortable talking about, but if she doesn't feel comfortable talking about it, you know, it's not for you to, to say anything. It's not it's not for you to speak on. Yeah, but she doesn't even know I really like her, except for all the triple X in the chat in the DMs. Wait, so both of y'all were saying freaky shit toward each other is what you said? Because if both of y'all were saying freak nasty shit, then... I don't know, dude. That's not right. Alright, there's a team fight going on I need to be a part of. Okay, 
and they're over there. She didn't seem to understand it. Oh. <coughs> it was awkward because she didn't get it, and then you had to find out the hard way because she wasn't able to tell you. Is I think what you're getting at? Which way y'all going? Y'all going to that one? Okay. Yeah, I can see that. That'd be a hard L to take. That, that'd be a real hard L to take. I can understand that. All right, they're still right there. Sweet. Come on. We can make it. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. I have fuses. Oh, come on. That just killed me. I heard motherfuckers running. Oh, that's a zombie. <laughs> you had to push your move your feelings for? Yeah, that's what you have to do, man. I think if it's really fucking with you that you should say something. You know, but not say something in the sense of blaming her or anything like that, but I think you should just, like, if this is something that's so fucking you up, I think you should let it be known, but that you're still wanting to have some kind of a relationship with her, whether that be friendship, you know, or something else. Fuck! Oh, that's why they were shooting, the little bastards. They were shooting because they knew they got away. Wait. It was showing red like they didn't get away with the bounties. <clears throat> you deadlifted 330? Jesus! Allow me to... He said it's not bad. What is... What? It's not... It isn't bad. You don't get the fuck out of here. 330? <sighs> Now I gotta go all the way back across the map and go kill this boss. You were going for it. You were at it for a year and two months now. Congratulations, then, brother. Hell yeah. Congratulations, man. Yeah, I remember that. That's when I didn't know any better and I was still playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I remember that. I think that was when everyone was still on, uh, oh shit, what game was that we all played? Was it Monster Hunter we all played together? I don't think so. My memory is trash. But hell yeah, I remember that. 3.30. I can't deadlift shit. When Legion came out, okay, that's right. That's right. I try to go to a gym. See, the gyms here are hot garbage. Not from a training standpoint, but from a price standpoint. Because there's one super close to me, and it's one of those, like, like I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the story about it. That's one thing I think you've missed out on because it's been a minute since you've been in here. You, you haven't been able to experience the stories. I think I talked about the stories not too long ago, but... Uh, <laughs> That wasn't a headshot. Compared to some people in the gym, 330 is almost nothing. Well, you're not, you know, you ain't got you can't worry about them. Fuck them. 
We talking about you, king of new monarchy. We talking about you, motherfucker. We're not talking about them. They can eat a semen sandwich. We ain't talking about them. I really hope he didn't see me. Motherfucker dead less than 650, the biggest black <laughs> I've ever seen. Hey man, you can only look at your accomplishments and your feats, brother. That's all you can look at. And you accomplish something fucking amazing that not a lot of people can do. Be proud of that, dog. Okay, where is that other? I think the other entrance is this way. I'm gonna have to solo this boss and hope nobody shows up. Well, people kill me with this shit. They kill one boss and leave. You got the game fucked up. You think I'm just gonna go after one boss? If I can't, it's double bounding or bust. Where are you, you bastard? I hear the roaches everywhere. How did that hit me? Bring that ass back over here. See all the fucking roaches. You have been. You've been talking to Big Booty Girl. <laughs> <Hahaha. laughs> we'll talk your shit, brother. He been talking to the big ones. <laughs> Do your thing, dog. Roaches. Come on. Come on, you fucker. Another lantern to burn you the fuck up. Come on. Fuck you. <laughs> I didn't even realize you were sub. Thanks for that sub, brother.
Alright, I have no more shotgun shells. I stand corrected. I have two. Hey. I have five. No, I think I have what, four? Yeah, I got. What's this? Got more fusies. More shotgun shells. <laughs> just there in case just in case there is some dickhead hiding around here trying to steal my bounty. So, oh, you're asking, oh, shit, I completely misread that. You were asking me if I was talking to any big booty girls. Honestly, I haven't been talking to any woman. Uh, you know what? Take that back. <laughs> okay, so, I don't know if this is an app you can use in the UK. But, uh, <laughs> uh it's called Circus. S U R K U S. Look this app up. Um, it gives you free passes to go to certain events where the event may need a lot of people there to look like something. Uh, to look way more like uh, bombastic than it actually is. Um, so I used that app and I was able to get free admission into this 90s versus 2000s. Uh, it's called a silent party and uh, this silent party was basically a bunch of adults just uh, with headphones on their heads with different lights on the headphones you change the, the light you change the year of music so I'm hearing old ass songs to new ass songs and I did meet I met some women there, but the meeting was just funny because it was both of us irritated because it took forever to get into this event because it started late. But, uh, and uh, I did, I did talk to a big booty girl. Her name is Angelica. Yeah, that part was funny. I have, a, I have a lot of video that I recorded from it. You want to see, you want to like envision, envision a room of 200 plus people, almost 300, with headphones on, dancing, this, that, and third. But then when you take your headphones off, you got maybe two or three people singing completely different songs, and then everybody else just dance like. It, like, just imagine a bunch of motherfuckers when you see people walking up and down the street dancing to songs that you can't hear, and you see them at, like, a red light or some shit, and you just be like, man, whatever song they listen to, that shit must be fire. Imagine that with 200 fucking people. Because that's what that was. That's exactly what that was. <laughs> But yeah, I ended up meeting a woman there who who was blatant in like wanting to holler and wanting why is that white fence all the way right? Why do I clearly see that white fence? There was a woman uh she wanted a spoon full of the carter, but uh <laughs> What's a nice way to say this? I was, I was interested that night, but then I woke up sober the next morning and just like, uh, it's not my normal cup of coffee. Not saying she was ugly or anything, but uh, like, like I'm not saying she was ugly at all. It's just. I usually don't go for those type of women. Apparently, I go for those type of women when I'm drinking it in California. <laughs> um, I saw that hit her in the shoulder, too.
I legitimately saw that hit her in the shoulder. Friedrich Nitschke. What about Nitschke? And those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. Yeah. I were pretty okay, so here's what made that funny. So you had 90s hits, where they'd be hip hop, R and B, shit like that. But it was it was dance music, so of course it was gonna be hip hop and some bombastic like party jams. So you had the 90s, you had the 2000s, and then like the red shit. If your headphones were red, you were listening to the 2000s up till now. If your headphones were blue lights. You were listening to the old school shit. That was a lot of what I was listening to. There was another fucking person here. There was another fucking person there. Somebody was hiding around just to steal a bounty and leave. Motherfucker. Dude, there are only 30 minutes left. This bastard legit hung around. Fuck that noise. Let's find him. You lurking, my brother? Hey, all right, Jace. But okay, the red was this current genre, or this current year in 2000 and shit. The blue was the 90s, and the green. Hey, thank you for the 300 bits, Jay. Appreciate that, my G. But the green, if your headphones were green. You were listening to a lot of that, that marshmallow, dead mouse bullshit. I don't want to leave. I want to find this dude and shoot him dead. And there he is. I think we're both going to the same exit. That motherfucker let me do all the work to try to take something. I heard the birds. It would just be listening to Eminem. Well, they play different. They play different mixes. Only reason I brought it up is just because if you were wearing the green headphones, it was techno shit. And there was only like one poor white boy that was blasting the techno shit. It was the funniest, most adorable thing I've ever seen. Players here. They did play Run It by Chris Brown, actually. I heard footsteps. Don't run now, you motherfucker. Oh, 
they hid. My shots were missing. Like, I don't understand how my shots were going through. Because I shot that dude in the head, like, three times. <sighs> they legit wait until... See, I hate these fucking... Ugh, well, let me, let me get my fucking headset working first. But just... <sighs> I'm already seeing the kind of players that this game is getting, and it's infuriating because you you have the players who they'll go for the boss, get the boss, leave, and then you have it's only a game. Why you have to be so mad? I'm I'm not mad. I'm just irritated at how people play shit because people play shit like this like they're going to die for real, <laughs> and it's just the way they play is just so fucking. It's so just exhausting. It is. I mean, good lord. But the a lot of things that I'm seeing in this game are people who go for the boss and then leave. They don't even try to go for the other boss, you know. Then there'll be the people who they'll get the boss and try to go for the other boss to leave. And then you have people who will sit in there with the boss, camp it and then blast you to try to get people to show up. But they'll, you, then you have fucking bootlickers like this who set the entire game in terms of 100 sneak, 100 trickster, 100. That's not even intelligent. Like, <sighs> they sat and hid the entire game. And then what made it worse is that monster. I attracted that monster. That's what pissed me off. Because I shouldn't have attracted that monster. But to sit there and hide somewhere for 45 minutes because the game time limit is an hour. To sit there and fucking hide for 45 minutes just to wait for somebody else to get it so that you like that shit, dude. Oh, my Lord. Like, and I hate the people who play like that. It's just like, dude, it's a it's a video game. Like, play it. You win, you lose. Either way, you acting like you're going to die for real. Okay, so here's the thing, though. It didn't work. It didn't work. And I'll explain why. It didn't work because I could have very easily ran to the exit and left. Right? But that game was boring. I killed, I, apparently I killed, yeah, I killed two people, got the boss. I could have took it and left. I heard gunfire. Had I could have, I was right at the exit. I could have left. It didn't work because I could have left. But I'm like, dude, fuck that hiding bullshit. Let's play the fucking game. And that first shot I got on him, for all intents and purposes, it should have been a headshot. The second shot, when he was crouched, because he didn't even know where that shot came from, was a fucking headshot. It's just the weapon sway in this game is fucking obscene. But it didn't work because I could have left. I don't even know if they were. I, I, I think they were solos. Cause, or it, I mean, it may have been a team. I think that's why the other guy came from behind and, and, and shot me. But it didn't work. I only wanted to play the game and it cost me. That's fine. But the fact that you sat there and you hid for 45 fucking minutes. Just to try to get some scraps at the end. That's what fucking irritates me. That right there is what fucking irritates me. Because, okay, with this game, you see how the aiming is kind of slow on the slower side. It's more strafing side to side and stuff like that. Um, with that being the case with this game, there's a lot of there's a lot of people who can't aim, obviously. It's a first-person shooter on console. You're Either you're good or you're not. Um, those people that aren't 
there are a lot of melee weapons in this game you can get. Once you hit max level, you can get uh, what's called a bomb lance, where you can shoot a spear at people and it's blow them up. Or it has you can just use a spear as a weapon, and it's a one shot. So what a lot of players are doing that can't aim, they run around with that weapon or any of the other melee weapons in the game that can very easily one shot you, and that's how and they'll just camp corners and shit like that. Or because of the sensitivity and shit in the game, you know, with you having to line up your shots a bit, they'll kind of, you know, they'll run faster than you can aim and then just one shot you with a fucking melee hit. So, oh, just the, it's the people who don't want to learn, man, or the people who want to complain that because they can't play a certain way, they're going to, they're going to play this way. And it's it's just like I said, it's, it's it's just irritating. It's just irritating. Shit. Hey, but again, Jace, thank you for the three hundred bits, brother. I really appreciate that. I would twerk for you, but no. <laughs> I would give you access to my OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm surprised I have never seen this game before. This game, uh, the people who, uh, this game was made by Crytek. It's the people who did Crisis. The game came out 2017? It was a PC exclusive, and then it went to Xbox, and it's finally come on PS4. And I've been keeping up with this game for all that time. Okay, there's only one boss here, so I should be able to get some fights in. I'm excited. Did I just see somebody? Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, but like, it checked off a lot of shit that I wanted. It was a first person shooter that's a western, because I'm a sucker for a fucking western. <laughs> Plus, with the game, it's, uh,. The game has permadeath, so every character that you've seen die, I can't use those characters anymore. So I lost all the weapons I had on them, I lost all the items I had on them, all the upgrades I had on them. And you gotta start from scratch. That part I thought was kinda neat. So if you so you kill a boss to escape, you give a full run of No. So basically this is what happens. More uh it's all random. So it's either one boss that you have to fight or two bosses. What I'm what I'm having to do right now is go in this dark side mode, go to that blue shit because that's a clue. The clue will tighten up the map until it gives me a pinpoint a area of where the boss is. So that's what the grayed area is. See, when when I got the first clue, which is that blue right next to the boss in the top left corner, it grayed out all those areas. So I know the boss isn't in those areas anymore. <laughs> So you get three clues. Why can't I climb the fucking ladder? What the fuck? Now, you can hear gunfire in the distance. That's another way you can kind of gauge where the boss is or uh, where a team is going to be. It's just by gunfire. You don't really need clues to find the boss? No. There have been... You can very easily follow the gunfire because more often than not, people, if you hear gunfire, they're going to be either fighting teams or someone fighting the boss. But you get more XP if you get the clues. And this game is a lot more sound based. Uh, I think you've heard the birds several times. Now, let me see. 
You see how it grayed out again, so I know that the boss is to the west. But there's a lot of different sound traps in this game because you have to wear headphones playing this game. Like, okay, boom. Okay, is that somebody fighting, it sounds like? I think that might be someone fighting. Oh, shit, are those hellhounds? No. But, uh... There are a lot of different sound traps which give you an idea of where people are. So anytime you see me run by birds and the birds go off, people could hear those birds and see what direction they came from. They're shooting. That's a team fight. Oh, shit. People can hear that noise that the water monster made, and then now they know, okay, somebody's over there in the water. They killed the fucking boss. That's what that gunfire was. See, like these birds. The people at the boss right now, since they're not that far from me, they could hear those birds and be like, okay, birds from the west. Keep an eye out on that area. Hell, you don't even have to kill the boss to leave. That's another thing. You don't have to necessarily kill the boss. I could uh, kill some players, and I can go right to extraction. It's kind of like uh, Escape from Tarkov a little bit. You come, do what you want to do for a little bit, then you go and dip. There are players here. I just heard him. I just heard the hop queen now. I heard somebody running net like super close. Alright. <clears throat> but if you die it's permadeath. Yep. I have one level fifty character, that's why I won't fuck with him. Cause you see, every time every time I get experience, every time I level up a character, you're able to get what's called traits. Traits are Think of them like Call of Duty perks. Steady aim, uh, more grenades you carry. Okay, somebody's right in front of me. And they're hitting monsters. I can hear it. Uh, sounds like it's, from, it's over there. This game is a lot is about kind of taking your time, kind of chilling. Plus, the game looks fucking amazing. Okay, somebody's on my right. I fucking hear him. Uh huh. Uh huh. I hear, I just heard him hit a monster, and there's a gunfire. Yep. So they can hear you run. Ooh. They can hear you run, but I'm kind of trying to use that gunfire. Okay, there are several people right next to me. Somebody's healing right in front of me. I shot him with the crossbow. Okay, dude. The aim punch got me like that? Get the fuck out of here. Uh, but if you die, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already explained that part. Yeah. Oh, how the fuck did the aim punch hit me that hard? I was right in front of him with the crossbow. So, yeah, there's still, uh, you still have aim punch. You still have, like, that gun that guy used, one of the better guns in the game. That's the, literally the last gun you get in the game. And it's one of the few guns that is automatic. Uh, that went very well. I mean, yeah. Eh. You win some, you lose some. That part didn't get me. Um, I like playing this more so than Dead by Daylight just because if I die in this game, it's probably something I could have done better. Like right there, I had two grenades. Or not grenades. I had two sticks of dynamite I could have thrown. But the dude, I had him dead to rights with the fucking crossbow. I'm thinking the crossbow was going to hit him before he got a shot off. I don't he hit me twice 
in the chest. I shot that crossbow. I don't understand how the aim punch shot my fucking hip fire all the way up like that because he should have died. So it's shit like that that's kind of it's kind of cheeky. But yeah, this is one of the games I don't mind losing like that. Because uh, there are two different modes in the game right now. Bounty Hunt is the main mode. Quick play I could do um, because the, when it comes to the characters that you're able to get in the game, you have to spend money to buy them. I have $9,600 right now uh, where you see the skull coins. Don't pay attention to this shit. This is just cosmetic. Don't worry about it. But uh, you have to spend your hunt dollars to buy characters. So if you're dying a whole lot, that's a lot of characters you're buying. Now, you do get characters for free. I think it's every 24 hours you get like maybe two or three free guys um, that you're able to get. You just have to kind of play the game with them to get them to level up, to get them better. Or you can go to quick play. Quick play is probably the only kind of battle royale mode in the game. Uh, or battle royale-esque. Uh, it's basically, instead of me getting clues, I'm getting what's called uh, riffs. They look exactly like the fucking clues. So basically, I would have to get four clues and then kill everybody else in the game. That's that's left. Um, if I get four clues before somebody else, I get what's... Uh, I'm basically... It's like playing tag. If I get four clues or four rifts before anybody else, then I'm it. So people have 250 seconds to come tag me with a bullet. <laughs> and then they're it. And whoever, it's like a hot potato, dude. Whoever has the hot potato last in this instance wins. And when that happens, uh, you get to keep that character that you won with. And the reason I like going to quick play more than just getting a free character is because a free character you get, they're going to have shitty guns, shitty items, no perks. And quick play, you get, it's random perks, but you get perks every time you get a clue. And the guns are all based on what level your player level is. Not your character level, your player level. And I'm too prestige, so there's going to be a lot of good items for me to get. And it's all uh, POS, which is procure on site. So you start with one weapon, and then everything else in the map is all random. So I could find like a really good gun just sitting around somewhere now if i keep that gun and survive until the end that gun is for this character so that's why i like quick play a lot more when i need when i need some free characters just so they don't start off piss poor they start with something and with okay with quick play you have to be aggressive. You see, I have 445 seconds. Uh, with this mode, you have to be aggressive. Because if you're not aggressive and time runs out and you're not it, your character just dies. <coughs> your character gets damned to hell. And that's it. That's a wrap for you. <coughs> There's a dude right here. And he's gone. <laughs> All right. And now I have what? Position. I can't remember what position did. But you see, everything, everything here is just procurement on site. So there's a saber here. I can go loot this brother and see what he had. He had a crossbow. That's why he died. That's all he had. Bless his heart. What'd you give me? You gave me a frag grenade. Sweet. And as you can hear, there are other people shooting off in the distance because, like I said, you have to be aggressive in this mode. What's in here? Is that the big boy crossbow? 
Ooh, throwing knives. That the big boy crossbow? Yes, it is. Thank you. Uh, you know what? Give me that pistol. I don't want the saber. I don't like playing melee. Unless I really have to. Dynamite bundle, I'll take it. Trip mines, I'll take it. For right now. What is this? Another big bundle of dynamite? Yes. You finna blow somebody right the fuck up. Yo, Azul, how are you, my dude? I swear, when I don't announce this, when I don't announce streams, I get, everybody just shows up, man. I'm so appreciative of that. Thank you, guys. How have you been, my dude? All right, I got one clue. I need to hurry up so I can get some more traits. I am good as all. I'm just playing some fucking hunt showdown. I'm in love with this game. It has been a long time, brother. It has been a long time. It's good to see you. And there's a player close by. Okay. Oh, you love holding well? Yeah, dude. When I found out that shit was coming to PS4, I, I was an instant buy. Like, there is no if, ands, or buts about it. That was an instant buy. Knife. All right. Ooh, I got quartermaster on this guy. Sweet. What is this? Springfield. Eh, I don't like Springfield. All right, that clue is super close. Oh. All right. Have you been playing it on a? Uh, have you been playing it on PC, brother? They better not let me get this wellspring first. I need that tr fucking trophy. You got it on PS4? Okay. Sweet. Have you prestige yet at all, fam? I'm too prestige and that's the last time I'm gonna prestige. <laughs> Is there one closer to me? All right, down here, going toward Blanchett. All right. I don't think I'm going to get there. Fuck. Wait, there's one super close. At Lock Bay. Sweet. Yeah, dude, I have prestige twice. I would not recommend it. Prestige, like, like it's like any other game. Uh, you go back to level one. Whatever money you have, it knocks you down to four grand. And you get to pick if you want uh, $2,000 to start your new level. I don't want to stamina the shot. Um, an XP boost. Or do you want a free legendary? Vitality shot. Do I want this fucking called well? Alright, now I just need to hide out. And I got adrenaline. Do you get to keep one character? Nope, all of them are gone. Bye bye. All of your characters are gone. All the items and shit they had are gone. 
You start from scratch, big dog. And then the free, yeah, fuck that, exactly. The free legendary you get, let's say it's like a gun. Like, okay, prime example. I got the... Damn it. Fuck. I got the legendary uh, Caldwell Uppercut, right? When I started at level one, they give you that gun for free. But I died with my character. So I lost the gun. I still have access to that gun as soon as I get to the right level to use it. They give it to you for free the first time. After that, nope. If you die, you gotta wait until you get to that level. And I don't want I don't want that shit that bad. I heard two people already. So let's do this. I hear him. I know they're coming. Okay, now I know that works. So that does actually work. That's pretty sweet. Where are they shooting at right now? I'm running into my own fucking trap. Ain't that a bitch? I hear you using dark sight trying to see me, fucker. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get in. Oh, boy. They are going at it. That's one. <laughs> I hear him going in. I got to reload. Sticky Bomb and a Butcher Eagle's intense fight will be coming your way. That Sticky Bomb with any monster, though, they haven't fixed it yet. Thank you for killing these people for me. outside he just climbed on a ladder he just popped somebody else <laughs> that dude is cleaning up I'm just waiting on him to come in here This is a trophy if I can get 250 Wellspring. <laughs> so 
so there's somebody over here. No, sir. I saw you. There's one. Shoot. Oh, they're fighting. shit <laughs> we got one dub in the books <laughs> but yeah I didn't know you had it on PS4 dude you know the PSN dude I love that crossbow when I started using that crossbow uh, cause it was a buddy of mine who told me about it uh Dude, this crossbow fucking wrecks, dude. I'm like, a crossbow? I'm a western boy. I love westerns. I'm tombstone around this bitch. Give me the revolver with fanning so I can just rapid fire the fuck out of somebody. And then I started using it. <laughs> dude, that crossbow is amazing. Because anything from the chest up is a one shot. Everything from the chest down takes a shitload of health depending on range. And uh, it causes bleeding as well. But yeah, this is why I like quick play more than just buying a free character. Because if you win in quick play, they at least get some levels. And you still get four traits with them. That's why I like it. You need to try that weapon. Yeah, to do that crossbow is nasty. The only thing that I don't like is you have to use the other crossbows in order to unlock the big boy. So you have to use the hand crossbow, and then you have you have to you have to keep using the hand crossbow until you unlock the other hand crossbow, and then you get the big fella. Then you get the big dog. Yeah, you you get big diesel. But yeah, I'm 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 loving it. But now I got to go recruit him. So he has adrenaline off rip. Sniper scope smith, which I probably won't use. Physician and quartermaster. I'll probably try to get that respect into something else. But yeah, like, it's level 13. He has 12 points I can put on him to get another trade up in there after I take sniper out. And everything that I grabbed in the game stays on him. So a lot more people should be doing fucking quick play that don't. But yeah, dude, the crossbow is nasty. Crossbow is 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 is, is nasty. <laughs> oh man, I love that gun. Um, so what do I have on him? Blanks, yes, because I don't have those unlocked yet. So at least I have somebody I can use them on. Uh, I have the alert trip mines, which I really like because it wasn't until I watched other people uh, playing the game. I never knew that the fireworks that go off on the trip mines. Oh, my God. They gave me another one. Please and thank you. I never knew that the. The fucking fireworks that go off, you can set those trip mines next to a, a flaming barrel or explosive barrel 
if someone hits it, the fireworks will detonate that barrel. I never knew that until I saw someone try that shit uh, on a YouTube video I was watching. And I'm like, dude, I could place those trip mines all over the fucking place. I don't need you. Give me a vitality shot until I unlock the big vitality shots. And give me dynamite bundles because of the rain. Alright. I'm actually going to try to play with the team right now. Rank 55, rank 100. Rank 55, oh god. This other person is not readying up yet. I'm kind of nervous. Caldwell is your baby right, right there. Which Caldwell? The uppercut, like everybody else, or are you like the Pax or the chain pistol? Which one are you? Oh, that chain pistol? Yeah, that chain pistol with fanning is just. If you can aim, that Caldwell chain pistol with fanning is just gross. Cause I, but I, I will admit. I have seen several, several, <laughs> several people just spray that bitch all over the place and then send me fucking hate messages because they spraying it everywhere. Maybe one bullet hit me and I shotgun them dead in the spleen. You have been on PlayStation since you've been on PlayStation since before Iceborne came out. Uh I th I just finished Iceborne. I bought Iceborne during the holidays uh, last December because I think it was on sale for like ten or twenty bucks off. So I just went ahead and snatched it. Um, but yeah, I just finished Iceborne. I put another like two to three hundred hours into that thing, getting my Safi Jiva weapons and all that. That was actually a pretty dope quest, by the way. Um, now I'm just waiting till the end of the month. You need to finish Iceborne, huh? But yeah, right now I'm just fucking. I'm waiting on Furious Rajang and Raging Brachidios. I'm just waiting on them right now. I'm probably gonna fight Furious Rajang more than Brachidios just because. The, the crazy thing is, Brachidios was my favorite monster from Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. And then I fought him on PS4, and I fucking despise him. <laughs> but, uh, Raging? No, sir. No, thank you. And I know a lot of people are pissed that they brought another Rajang on the game, because a lot of people still can't fight regular fucking Rajang. Is there no Oroshi Karen? I should ban you just for asking for it. Keep that motherfucker away from me. We got hellhounds right in front of us. Oroshi Karen. You don't get the fuck back. Karen is nice. No, no, no. Aroshi is even better. You're some kind of masochist. I got pissed when a lot of I got pissed when a lot of the fucking rumors were uh they were gonna put rusted Kushala in here, and I'm just like, dude, no one wants to fight fucking Kushala, dude. Like, literally. <laughs> literally nobody wants to fight Kushala. Alright, there are clues to the north of here. Alright. Kushala is the biggest bitch ever. 
But dude, I don't. I, you know what? I don't like fighting Kushala with teams. If I'm solo, I can break Kushala off because I know how to beat him. Fighting him with teams is irritating. Only fought him because you had to. I tell you the one thing that I want to do that I still have not been able to do in Monster Hunter right now. I want to fight Behemoth. I want to fight Extreme. I want to fight Extreme Behemoth. That's the one thing that I have not fought yet. Because I can't get people together to fight it. And when I do, they treat that shit like it's a regular monster and then get mad when their shit gets pushed in. Because what I was told is you had to fight that monster exactly like you're fighting a real MMO. You needed a healer. You needed a tank. You know, and I knew a lot of people didn't want to do that. Crossbowing in. Okay, the last clue is northwest of here, and that's where the gunfire is, so just keep an eye out. I love this game is proximity chat, and that I can mute myself. I love the fact that I can mute myself to where I'm not. Well, I can talk to you guys, but I'm not disrupting these guys. I love that I can just shut it off. talking this game good yeah it is man I really I really like that uh, there is no Elytrion or Fatalis I know I don't like that and with me I wanted some new monsters in the game so like the one monster hunter that I just didn't really vibe that much with was uh was generations I didn't mind generations it just wasn't my cup of tea so like, but the one monster that was on that game, that was like, the motherfucker was a jet engine, that was dope. I liked that monster. I forgot, I forgot his name, but like, that shit was dope. More hellhounds in front of us. We can just kind of move to the west to stay away from them. Big boy black dragon. That would have been cool. I don't think they're going to do any more content anymore. I think they have like one more kind of oak, just kind of small update. And then they're putting Burkidios and Furious Rajang in here. And I think that's it for world. I could be wrong. I hope I am, but I think that's it. Yeah, generations with all the fighting styles and all that shit. It wasn't my cup of tea. Plus, it was a lot of people on gener it was a lot of people on generations that didn't even use hunters because in that game you could actually use the palicos and the felines to fight. And they were fucking busted. Shit. I'm trying not to get those fucking birds. But we have to. I'm going to go around east.
Why is he running? Stop running, fool. Yeah, Generations had a bunch of goddamn monsters. I, I just didn't like the fight style aspect of it. Oh my god, they making so much noise. Good lord. They're inside. I'm trying to figure out a way to play this because they're making too much fucking noise. I'm thinking somebody up there because all they got to do is chill right now. And that's more fucking people. I just got fucked. Somebody just got cucked real good. Hey, that was that was both of them. That was both of them. We're good. Ooh, Lord, dynamite for the win. Dude, I can't even loot. Yeah, somebody threw poison gas over there. I can't even loot that dude. Fuck. Boy, those dynamite bundles. People always forget the range of them motherfuckers. Woo, child. Oh, he got bow and arrowed in the brain, it looks like. One of you guys go downstairs and grab the food. Last time we talked, you were on about a girl that you said you two were friends and you got into a massive argument. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I remember that. I do remember that. I, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. We're good now. Like, we've had sex several times since then. I think we're good. <laughs> we're good. That girl you were referring to, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, they were quite some weird time. Yeah. The woman you're talking about, yeah, like, we've had sex. We've hashed it out. And she's in a fucking, like, she's in a relationship now. The streamer, uh, she got a boyfriend and we don't talk anymore just like that one uh that one song that girls love we don't talk anymore like we used to do like we, that song like we don't we don't talk anymore because she did the one thing i don't like that a lot of women do like they'll get a they'll get a partner and either that partner doesn't feel comfortable with them having male friends or like they feel emasculated or they're threatened or some shit like that. But yeah, that ha it happens.
You were singing it. I don't blame you. Anytime I tell people that shit, that song is it pops right in my fucking head. Oh, this motherfucker has a crossbow too. I'd rather us go to that gunfire first before we start fighting this boss so we don't get third party. Oh boy. But yeah, she did that thing and and th th this this is what I don't like. I'm not going to rant, but I'm just saying I hate when people do this. They will do something on their end, but then you get that whole, oh, my God, it's so good to hear from you. I miss you. Motherfucker, you don't miss anything. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. Quit it. Before I hit you with a bag of jelly beans. Cut it out. Before I hit you with... A bag full of p orange juice pulp. Like, cut it out. Yeah, they're in there. Ooh, and they're talking. Somebody's on my right side. That should have hit her. Where the fuck did she run off to? That crossbow should have hit her. I'm kind of mad. There's a way to get up here, I just forgot. There it is. Alright, we gotta push now. One's dead. One more here. Okay. Hidden bag out. I'm mad I missed that first person. Alright, we killed everybody on the boss. Can you all ping that one person again? Oh, they're all dead. Sweet. What, what was this? Don't you start getting stuck. Oh, that damn chain pistol of yours. I wonder how many boyfriends she had since then. The <laughs> You remind you of your ex? Oh lord. No, but it just I, I, it just irks me when people do that. Like just just keep it a buck, please. Ooh, the black hand. That's the other Caldwell. Damn it. 
I want my crossbow. Well, I got a crossbow on a free hunter, so I'm good. Now I have both legendary Caldwells. Oh, he set the trap right there. Okay. Yeah, this is the black hand. This belongs to one of the legendary hunters in the game because apparently he used to be an emulator. Oh, wow. He set them shits everywhere. You never know, dude. You never know. All you can do is worry about you, keep yourself positive, and fuck him. Where is this fucker? I'm tripping. That dude had a call to well and got. He got broke off. Ow. 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 <laughs> Let me heal real quick. Good lord. But yeah, I, f I fuck with the call wheel. I like the call wheel. Wow, he just shot the fire right on him. And he's gonna try and triple H him with a damn slip. Huh? Yeah, dude, you can't worry about them. Ow! You really can't, man. You gotta, you gotta keep yourself straight, dog. If it ever gets to a point where you start worrying about how other people act and how other people uh, carry themselves, that'll fuck you up. One advice you would give to your younger self? Me? Uh... When you don't, what would I tell my younger self? Um, fuck video games, just buy the condoms. <laughs> That's what I would tell myself. Because I was just out here. Carter used to be a member of the no put. <laughs> Carter used to be a big member of the, the pullout gang. <laughs> like, I was out here acting a damn fool. The fact that I don't have anything is, is super lucky. That's what I would tell my younger self. Don't get triggered because back then, where, at least we're coming from Tennessee, like, I would much rather... Back then, I'd much rather spend money on some, like, used games at GameStop and shit as opposed to fucking Trojans. But, like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Stop being a stupid fuck and buy those condoms. I think that would be the, the, that'd be the main thing. I'd probably tell, my t I'd, I'd tell myself two times. One, buy fucking condoms. Two... If a woman cannot love herself, do not expect her to love you. Or not even love, but just genuinely fucking care about. Or not even genuinely care about. If they can't take care of themselves, do not expect them to treat you with any kind of decency or respect or anything like that. It's because there are a few women that I know, like, it, it's it's very toxic. Um, you know, these are, these are very toxic individuals. You know what? Male and female. Yeah, because there's actually a guy I know that I'm friends with. Or that I was friends with. We're, 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 we're something right now. We're we all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, take what they... Don't don't constantly get, see now. This is a now you got me thinking, thinking, King. Like shit, I was just gonna leave it at condoms, but now I'm actually thinking. Like, you tell yourself to avoid a few people. Yeah, I would tell myself that too, but then I couldn't because the people. Had I avoided those people, 
I wouldn't be where I was right now. So if anything, I would not avoid them. I would say I I would say to don't not to be the dead horse. Once they do a certain thing and and they show you how they are, don't feel like because of something they may have done for you that you're always indebted to them. That was one mistake that I I can honestly say that I did make, man, just because you know it wasn't until I sat there and I thought about how things ended up happening with me and some people that I was cool with that I realized, like, wow, even though they did this, they also did this. But the fact that they did that one thing that helped me, I just felt like I was always indebted, and that's not the case. Fuck out of here. Or I would break up with my girlfriend before she broke up with you. <laughs> No, I just try to get out of toxic relationships. Not even like, like dating relationships, but like just friend, just relationships as a whole, whether they be friends, whether they be family. So you know what? Yeah, let's just encompass. Let's encompass all of that. What would I tell my younger self? Open your eyes. That's what I'd say. Nothing about condoms or not trusting this woman or this guy. Just that third, just. Simply put, open your eyes. You're still salty and it's been four years. I can believe that. Because you're looking like, okay, there's, a, there's an individual that I still fucking despise until this day. You're absolutely right. It does leave a sour taste. Um, I was just... You know, mistreated and, and talked down to and treated like dirt, you know, and the only thing I was trying to do was be there for someone because that, that's all that's what I've been. You know, I see that just how I am or how I act, you know, I would need someone. So I'm trying to be that person for someone. And it's just when you you're constantly treated that way and then you start thinking that it was your fault and maybe you did something wrong and any at any point you get to where someone's treating you a certain way and you feel like it was your doing even though all you did was what you thought was right justified you should you should get out of that but yeah there's an individual like i'm still salty about that shit like anytime people ask me anything about them like i wish that ooh, we killed 500 that game i wish them the best but at the same time, I want them to get hit by a truck full of hot garbage juice. I wish them the best, though. <laughs> I absolutely wish them the best. So, yeah, I got both legendary Caldwells. I am the man. All right. And we got my soul survivor right here. Chilling. Uh... You know what? I think that's going to be enough for me. Because it is 317 right now. I'm actually going to go out and enjoy myself in ye old California. So, with that being said, King, it is. it was so good to see you, bro. It was so good to, to have this conversation with you, to have this dialogue with you. Just being able to vent and talk to people. You know, a lot of people need that. So... I appreciate you for letting me be a part of you in order to tell me some shit like that. And I hope what I said to you kind of sticks and makes you think. Azul, it was so fucking good to see you, bro. You know my PSN name. It's right there above this white man's head. Add me. Let's get some hunt games in. Uh, who else? Jace. Much appreciated with that 300 bits, bro. Uh, congratulations on everything that I saw that you are up to on fucking Twitter, dude. Uh, congratulations on all that shit, man. I can't wait to see it with all of the uh, the newfie streamers, you know, kind of getting together and doing their thing. So keep me updated on that. Uh, and uh, let me see. H2O Happy Dude. Thank you for that follow. But I'm going to send you guys somewhere else because there's another brother that I've been watching that also plays Hunt Showdown. It's it's death. It's actually it's it's death. It's 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 the Grim Reaper playing uh it, it's the Grim Reaper playing Hunt Showdown. 
His name is Games with Death. I hope you all enjoy him. I will see you all tomorrow. Even though anytime I say I'll see you all tomorrow, you all know whenever I'm live. Because you know, you know I never, I'm, I'm inconsistent like a motherfucker. <laughs> so, uh, that's it. I'm rambling at this point. Let me get the fuck out of here. Let me send you guys right over there to him. All right, that ain't going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. No. No, that's that's weird. <laughs> this is why I need a PC. This is why I need a PC. All right, now we're good. I'll catch you all later.